Hey everybody, this is Mike Venus, back again. <clears throat> right? We dealing with the hair rush loop board. I had several comments from um, two individuals asking questions about it on the video I did with the um, NPC, just experiment with the NPC and the loop board. Um, First and foremost, let's break this down. What is the head rush of the board? It is a powerful loop of board. It is extremely powerful. They consider this a pedal. It is a big ass unit. This thing is huge. It's it's pretty big. I got it sitting on the desk. I had to move my um MPC over here, the live. Cause it's just, it's taking up a lot of space, but um, it's not a small unit. It's pretty big and it, it weighs almost like, I think about 13, 15 pounds. So it's, it's got some weight on it, but it's made out of steel. So it's pretty sturdy, it's built, you know, to take a pound in. I personally don't use my feet with it. Uh, I just push the buttons, you know, step on them or if you have something like a launch pad, you can basically, um, especially with the newer ones, you can use one of the customized pages that you have, create a mapping um, and map it up so you can use it as a MIDI controller to basically control the same thing. So like, say if you don't like that, that type of sound, um, you can set such a uh, launch pad up or any other type of MIDI controller up once you program it. So that's very helpful. Um, it's a four track uh, looper board, meaning you get four stereo tracks. Um, you could choose to make it either mono or stereo depending on preference. Um, you also get a click track um, that's separate from your four tracks that you can loop on. Um, you got four inputs, so you can, you can connect up to four different audio sources, um, really five, because you, you can hook up your phone. It's got an aux um, input as well. So like if you got an iPad, iOS device, phone, MP3, whatever, um, that has that type of connection, you can connect it to it in uh, pull loops from there, or samples, and um. So so yeah, it's really like depending on your setup, but four inputs. Each input got its own individual volume, which is good. Um, the aux has its own volume. You got a headphone volume, and then you got a master volume. It comes with a decoder. Uh, knob for all that good stuff and then um setup is real easy it's, it's like any looper you got you could determine the length how fast it is go fast slow you can set it in reverse you can fade it you can bounce um loops so say like you want it to you you create a four track thing and you want to basically kind of like a flattening thing but basically clear up the other tracks but still have all that going you can bounce it to one individual track which is cool um with the with the firm firmware update the 2.0 you got infinite layers it's beyond 99 so and that's per track so that's a lot you can do a lot um, you can transpose your loops live in time. Um, it also has time stretch. And um, I think internally you got up to, I want to say almost close to nine hours of, of sampling or storage in here built in. And you can hook up USBs or um, SD cards, you know, uh, flash drives, hard drives to store up your loops. Now, 
The one question I was asked about was dealing with the effects. Um, the Hair Rush Looper Board is created by Hair Rush. So Hair Rush is known for making guitar type um, products, like effects and stuff. So when you get to the effects rack, which I hope in the latest, or if they have another update, um, they would allow you to have more control over the type of effects you choose. But from now on, I mean, for right now, excuse me, you only have eight general effects racks, volume, I mean, excuse me, uh, vocals, guitar, lo-fi, dub, drums, studio, rhythm, riff, uh, rhythmatic, and voice tuner. And the way it works is just like any effects rack, so you don't have the ability to really like take effects out that you don't typically use and you can't add effects that you want into a particular setup. So there's not a customized rack, which I hope, like I said, in future updates that they would allow that, which I think if they do allow you to have a custom rack, this will take this to a whole nother level because um, I have uh, I have a guitar as one of my input or in yeah put in one of the inputs, so I use it on the guitar. I also use it like I demonstrated in that video, um, as a effects processor for um sending audio out of the the um the MPC or the force wherever I make my song on and um to free up so I can use the XY pad on here, on the uh, force or on the live, and also uh, color the sound through the effects racks that they have on here. But um, like I said, until that future update, if they have it, you do not have the ability to customize your effects. So the one guy asked me on the lo-fi effects, Uh, on a lo-fi effects you only get a low pass filter vinyl simulation a degrader kind of like something that like makes it real gritty a distortion a, a pair uh, or the paramedic uh, eq four band and a delay that's on the dub. You can't have reverb on there unless you have an external pedal board, which I see a lot of people use with, with this on YouTube, but you can't put reverb on. Uh, th there's no reverb um, preset or, you know, part of that effects rack for the preset of lo-fi. So whatever effects that they have in that rack for that particular preset, those are the ones you can use to color your sound or whatever, um, yeah, whatever audio that you come in on whatever particular input. It could be put on tracks. It could be put on the individual inputs. You can have multiple um, racks set to color a particular input, but they cannot be played simultaneously, meaning you, you it's only one rack activated at a time. So that doesn't mean you can have two or three or four um, racks playing at the same time on one input or on one track, if that makes any sense. So they haven't created that yet. So yeah, um, I also was asked about recording vocals. Um, they have, they have a lot on here. This, this, this thing is amazing, right? You have a vocal tuner, right? So you, i.e. auto-tune, you have auto-tune on here, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, you got high pass gate, smart tuning, har harmonizing, doubler, delay, reverb, um, compressor and EQ. So yeah, 
you can you can record um, auto tune. You know, um, another key thing. I don't know exactly how you plan on using this. He didn't. The guy didn't really explain that that much in depth how he will use the looper board. Um, but if he is using it in conjunction with a DAW, um, the head rush looper board works as an audio interface. It the computer your doll will recognize it as an audio interface, and that means basically you wouldn't need a four right of what four scarlet, whatever that thing is, or any other type of audio interface. And this is good quality. You know what I'm saying? Um, like if I was recording. Um, uh, 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 excuse me. If I wanted to record my guitar, he also asked this. Um, he asked, when you record the guitar um, into this, this is, it has a preamp in it already. So it kind of boosts the signal where you don't have to like have the thing cranked up to the max to get a good sounding, sounding loop. Or audio clip you know what I'm saying I think it's like 24 bit recording so that's really good it's clear and crystal but if I was to hook my guitar directly into my NPC live 2 and try to record the signal is weak even if I use like a compressor um, a maximizer um, things like that to try to boost the signal so I can get a, a decent sounding you know, uh, audio clip, um, I would have to do more steps. Now, what I did experiment with, because he asked if you work both of them together, I had the output, I had my guitar coming into the head rush looper board and it had it coming out of the head rush looper board into the NPC's input, right? To test if the signal is boost um if I was to make you know samples and stuff and it actually works so that's really good um I might even in future not today because I'm I'm not really feeling up to speed I don't know my stomach is really fucked up but um in the future I do plan on seeing if using this the head rush looper board um both the vocals and the guitar recording it into the NPC or the force in that way, or because this is a looper board, I, it's, it's, I consider it a sampler. Um, I can record these things on here, save them onto a SD card or a flash drive or hard drive. And then when I want to use it, just pull it into the NPC or the force and work with it that way whatever floats your boat, right? So that explains the effects. That also explains um, the guitar and vocals. I, this is me, I use the Head Rush Looper board totally different than most people use it on YouTube or how it was marketed. So I don't wanna really confuse the individual who might be interested in purchasing this as it is on um how it was marketed on youtube from head rush or from uh other people who are guitar driven live loopers i'm a music producer i work straight hardware alone um so my approach to this machine is totally different than someone who use it as a traditional live looping type foot pedal type machine. I mean, this thing is a, it's a computer, you know, it's amazing. So I'll probably go into that um, on my next video, but yeah, that kind of explains that. Um, hopefully if you have purchased it, I would say, you know, if you know you're, you, you want to get in the live looping, that's your thing or power. But like I said, on my channel, um, I will I do a lot of more, more experimental stuff. So this 
like I said, the way I approach using it is not traditional or how it was marketed. So I will advise you more or less to probably um, search for those type of videos. You know, you know, everybody want people to watch them, but I'm trying to help you out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say like, um, it's, it's one guy, he's British. He got glasses and he's got his hair back in like some type of bun. Like it's been like blonded out or whatever. Um, he's been doing a lot of videos on it. He also talk about live looping. That's kind of a thing he does. I personally, like I said, I'm not a live looper. I'm a producer. But if you're interested in understanding what I'm saying or how I would like to use it in production, or if I am performing, um, using it more as like a an effects processor like I kind of showed in that one video um, leave a comment let me know and um yeah I'll, I'll demonstrate that so hopefully that was somewhat informative um, yeah you know um, I did put up a video or two of me playing it uh, just you know doodling with my guitar and kind of practicing with it um, to be honest I I just, just with this recent update, the 2.0, I have literally blown the dust off of this thing. I had this before, like, what, shit, almost two years or a year and a half. So I'm just really getting familiar with this because it's, it's like a brand new machine now with the new update. So, yeah, before I just had that in the box because my guitar was broke. I didn't have the right cables to, you know, I just got the right cables. I had bought some cables and they were too small. <laughs> Needed like the, the six foot ones and I had bought these little ass ones. So I just got me some decent cables where I can hook up my live or my NPC live or my, my force to it and use the sounds I have in that or, you know, use my guitar or hook up the mic and you know, use some live instrumentation like a shaker or drums, you know what I'm saying? So I'm eager to get into this. So, hey, if you want to experience the journey with me with the Hair Rush Looper Board as a singular machine and then also incorporated with my other gear to produce music, subscribe. Follow me at Spotify at Mike Venus, um, Twitter at Mikey Venus 2020, and at Instagram, Mike underscore Venus one. So with that, y'all have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.